Well, science, while we're here and waiting, let's have a zoom on this coral over here. Please, sorry, Dave, <laughs> right as you stood up. Sorry about that. Could you zoom in, please? I don't know, check out a coral, I guess. <laughs> So the vessel is all stopped now. Do you? Yeah, right. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, it'll take a minute. We just got to be patient. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll get there. While we're waiting, um, this might be a great time to do intros. So welcome to the 8 to 12 watch. We're just waiting for all the ROVs to catch up with each other while the ship moves and we're going back to sample a mystery sponge coral doodad. Um, I'm Steph Wanger, a natural science and children's illustrator that is on the Nautilus as a uh, science communication fellow. Um, Anyone want to go? Book Colony Rob, cool. Island Road University. I thought we were going to do this backward. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing um, we can do it backwards. <laughs> OK. Um, I kind of do backwards, sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, OK. <laughs> Fellow <laughs> Communication Science, A as Nautilus. You two coming. Uh, <laughs> illustrator, book, children's, and science natural. A. Wanger Stephanie. Pacolony Rob. Leader Watch. Lead Geology or Geography. <laughs> uh, Island Road University. That's close enough. <laughs> Flores Rodriguez Paula. Um, team Science. Nauri Lucy V. Uh, <laughs> Lobster Squad. <laughs> Lobster, Lobster, Lobster Squad, squad Specialist. <laughs> um, Are you come up a little bit on Delta, MCC please? We're at about 10 to 12. Researcher Postdoctoral. Harris Moronke, a student, PhD, <laughs> Victoria of University, <laughs> um, training in manager science, <laughs> longer data. <laughs> that, that actually sounds normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Front row, if you, you might are even be able not to turn around, around now. Ooh. Okay. Can I come to port, please? Roger. I do know Elias. Navigator. <laughs> and Mapa, Mapa Ocean. Am I? Nice. <laughs> um, student graduate of <laughs> I'm here new of university. Yeah, can you bring your heading around? Benjamin. Roger. Um, See if you can find me. 
engineering ocean and uh, oh. mapping ocean. <laughs> you think. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what? Sorry? Auto heading was off, so I was just clicking buttons. Yeah, like that's that's really difficult to do, yeah. you know. There I see the, the smoke coming out of everyone's ears the as they're trying to think. The trick is just to have short introductions. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Sell you cra Robert. Oh, oh, oh clever. One up everybody. That's amazing. But what is Robert do? Sell you cra. <laughs> What's that? Sell you crit, yeah. Her Hercules. Um, <laughs> <laughs> were you thinking about that overnight? No. Hmm. I just I just typed it out and uh, oh. reverse it and read it backwards. Um. Okay, Adelant is on the go. This is good. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> While doing a gauge check and trying to <laughs> yes, pilot Atlantic. we can skip to good Dave luck. first. Be beeps go. <laughs> beeps go. Beeps go. Beeps <laughs> go. <laughs> Yeah, can we do a Dave while I while I stew on all do this? Do a Dave. I, I I don't know what to do either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dave, video. <laughs> video Dave, Dave video, video Dave. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, pilot, Atalanta, Annabelle. My name is. Mm, nice. My would be is my name. Yeah. Student undergraduate. <laughs> mm -hmm. State University, Oregon. Intern. I'm just saying random words. Um, <laughs> no Beeves go. Beeves go. Beeves go. <laughs> nice or uh, job well. nice. <laughs> yeah, don't let everyone do job nice. Yeah. Can I please get uh, a zoom it out on love this I. one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then a zoom in on this one, please. So I can see that target. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I think it's been over four shifts since you've had a normal Wonderful. introduction now. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm OK with that. Yeah. It keeps everybody on their toes, including us. I think I know what my next introduction is going to be. I'm going to introduce myself completely in my indigenous language, and I'm not yes. going to translate it. Yeah. Someone oh, yeah, that's, that would be fun. Yeah. I would love to do that. <laughs> Someone in your chat said yeah. do it in another language, but I only know one, so maybe I'll, like... We could, yeah, we could I'll all do, do different languages. Maybe I'll, like, I'll hold my French. breath and, like, covered. say it without opening <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Everybody's claiming their language. Well, Trevor <laughs> claimed English. First dibs. <laughs> Trevor will be Trevor, eh? I think I could introduce myself in French. I think I know enough. All right, yeah. Next one is different languages or different sounds. Yeah, that would be okay. fun. What about, uh, I was thinking also about, uh, what was the game that you were talking about? Like caveman? Oh, yeah. W or one syllable ones. Yeah, we can do one, one syllable, syllable ones for like a night shift. Yeah. One Look. syllable words? Yes. For yeah. a whole night shift. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Delta how far, up. How far no, is you can't even say that. How far is Atalanta from, uh, from this point? How far has it moved back? Yeah, we please check that. Hmm. You could say... 20 instead. meters? Yeah, 20 meters. And how far is Hercules from the target? So Hercules is... 12 meters. Okay, great. Thank you. Of course. You could say, like, depth change up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be a nightmare. Um, That's deep. Yeah, depending on our <laughs> audience, if we More have um, <laughs> Arabs washing, yeah, I would do it in Arabic. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go, my indigenous, uh, my mother tongue language. That would also be fun. Yeah, 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 that'd be good. How many languages do you speak? Yeah, I speak um, at, at least three. Wow. wow. I love yeah. that answer, at least. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. Uh, thank you. I heard you talking on the phone in your language, and it was really cool. Yeah. I'm like, I do not understand a word this man is saying, <laughs> but it sounds awesome. <laughs> That's great. What's your language called? Goliath? Yoruba language. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Any closer, Steve? Is it by that sponge that's on the cinema cam? That's coming up to the lasers? I am working my way towards a waypoint, and hopefully that's the correct waypoint. Yeah, let's. Yeah, so I'm yep. over on the chart table. It's it's definitely in this uh, little nugget field that's coming up okay. uh, towards the area of the waypoint. Yeah, okay. I'm staying, keeping the target a little bit to the right because the current is pushing me to the left, so I can drift down and look for it. Yeah. Does anybody know how the waypoint was dropped? Was it at Herc when we found it? Oops, getting pulled. Yeah. That's um, I'm not quite, I'm getting a little eager, a little ahead of myself. Let's go over here first. Yeah, can I have a uh, yeah? Can I have an Atlanta heading of like zero nine zero? Uh, yeah, I, I'll figure it out. One moment. <laughs> there we go. Okay, auto heading. You said zero nine zero? Yeah, just come to starboard like one hundred and fifty degrees. Roger. Uh, we're doing the 400 degrees thing again. One yeah, second. Fine. I'll come to starboard a bit and do a reset. If you want. The reset's only if it bothers you, but it doesn't affect the operation at all. Oh, it bothers me. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, changing directions is not a fast process. Also, this is an interesting maneuver. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're at like a heading of 92-ish. Roger. Is this the uh, towing Atalanta behind you position? This is maximum reach. Roger. Because we just went back the way we came, so Atalanta, sorry, with the ship. So Atalanta took a completely different route, which makes mm -hmm. perfect sense. <laughs> what? How does that? <laughs> what? Oh, we're doing a little pendulum swing situation. Yeah, but in a different direction entirely. Wild. Science can't explain it. <laughs> Science, can you explain that? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. Neither do I anymore. Hysteresis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. The struggle for sponge. Isn't there like a, when they were on it before, there was like a big, Herc track looking thing in the sand. Sand, ooh, sand, that's a good uh, thing to know about. Uh, let's see, so, if it's over here, I wanna go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Steve's is saying that uh, drop is uh, accurate. The drop is accurate? Yeah. Great. <coughs> is that it in the cinema cam? That it checks out with the uh, waypoints. Oh, I see. No. And funny spongy. Was it next to oh, a? Yeah, Aquiles is about um, six meters away from me, so. Okay. Getting closer. Was it next to a tall Semperella sponge? Can we move the ship this way, please? Oh, sure. Uh, next to a Calisac, ah. Bronwyn said, but. Ah. Okay. I'm just going by what. Other people remember. A tall sponge. A fishy. <laughs> look at that current. Wee <laughs> look at the fish. This is a Semperella in view, I think. So I think I'm on the target right now. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. On oh, the there you it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're you see right. It, something? Something? We've acquired the target. Wonderful. Uh, it wasn't me that was right. It was the Locked chat that was on. right. Yeah, let's still do a 30 meter ship move. Locked okay. on. I guess due west, 270, I think. Yeah, like I want to go 250. Okay, yeah, we can do 270. Yeah. That works. Yeah. Because <coughs> Atlanta's still a little south. I think okay. that'll be okay. Okay. Thank you. Bridge, now. Nah? Yeah, Trevor, Steve says just pick it up and put it in the box. Roger that. Can we step to the zero meters? Bearing 270 degrees, same speed. It's weird, it looks like a coral. 270 degrees. 
It's a sponge, you that's say? That's sponge. not a coral? It's a sponge. No, it's a sponge. Where'd you? Where'd you? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I can quite reach it yet, unfortunately. Could we get a good zoom on it before collecting? Yeah, you bet we can. We'll have to land for it. So okay. I just can't quite reach yet. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, just totally stretched right out. <laughs> All right, this is okay. This is nuts. I can't uh, keep my heading here. It's a lot of current and a lot of stuff going on all at once. See if I can look at the ground. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Now we're 17 meters up. I can't see anything. Maybe. No, I can't see anything. Roger. Awesome. I can see marine snow. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Nature in action. Mm -hmm. When I think of marine snow, I think of action. Yeah. <laughs> but there's all sorts of cool bacteria in there. Bet there is. Oh, what's that? There's some action. Look at that action. <laughs> oh. So action packed. <laughs> action I know this packed. is not our spot, but we're still waiting on Atalanta. Yep. And again, you might as well view use the a little time. bamboo in front of us. Yeah, you bet we can. You can see the target in the cinema cam. <laughs> yeah, we sure can. Go ahead, Dave, please zoom in on the bamboo. We're staring it down. Making sure it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, you have a small snail. Oh, yeah. Oh, Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tilt down. Bathy Gordia, perhaps? I wonder if we can see the coral sponge from here. It'll be a long way away, so it won't be good imagery. We'll do more good imagery once we get close, but uh, just there for the meantime. Is. Mystery sponge. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. That wow. really does look like a coral. That is wild. Yeah. It, it wasn't until you zoomed that I saw it look spongy. Yeah. You can just see that there's sponge material where polyps would normally be. You think it's confused? I think it's a mix. <laughs> <laughs> is it some sort of, like, mimic? Like it's trying to be a coral, or does it just grow like that? Yeah, Trevor, uh, just wondering, you know, is it a good place to get a, uh, a nugget scoop after uh, we collect this? Can you come wide, please? You might even be able to nugget scoop right here while we wait. Yeah, if you want. I didn't want to. Might as well use our time. Okay. Let's see. Can we reach any nuggets? It looks like probably yes. Annabelle, do you want a nugget scoop? Oh, yeah, sure. I guess you haven't done a scoop yet, have you? I haven't done a scoop yet. The only risk is this might uh, raise a little bit of a dust cloud, but All right. there is an, a lot of current, so I think we should be okay. On is a difficulty okay range from uh, rock to push core, how, where, where are we at with the nugget scoop? Of all the sampling you've done, this is 
one shy of push core for the next hardest. Roger. Okay. So this is actually a good one because this is the other big skill that comes with arm work is not just doing the thing, but also thinking a couple steps ahead like a game of chess about how you plan to grab it, how that will end up being in your end effector when you're using it. So you could grab those pucks from on top, but then they'd be out to the left side or the you right have to side. You like come in from the front to about come in it. From the front. Yeah. Okay. So it's not an ideal grab situation, but having it mounted like that means it's not in the video view of the whole dive. Woo, so first first arm work of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. So on the craft valve here for you. It's nice if they have PT on board for uh, after watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that little masseuse. Oh man. Oh. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Chat said about the sponge coral, that's clearly a sporal. <laughs> a squirrel? Sporal. Sporal. Sponge coral. <laughs> that's better than Where? cunge. <laughs> oh, cunge. we don't want to talk about cunge. <laughs> Good little cinema cam view there. <laughs> oh, hi. No cinema cam. <laughs> can we get her all the way around? I, do, I don't think we can get her all the way around, can we? You can come, yeah. Um, so, not Aww. like that, but if you bring the whole elbow out farther and then reach back in, you can. Like that. Like that. Yeah, okay. that's, I think it's not perfect, but it's really close. Bonk. The other thing you can do is, uh, nope, that doesn't work. I'm going to give you a bad advice. That's not what you want. Eh. Oh, we got the mirror rotate. That's that's funny. Yeah. The, if you're using the rocker, then right is righty tighty. Okay. That's the way I remember it. If you're using is the this, continuous. Is this a good grab? It's an okay grab. Okay, I might go in for another one. Yeah, moment, I mean, please. might be as good as you can get with this angle. It's not the best spot to mount it. Eesh. Oh, why am I doing that? Get. Oh, there goes the cinema cam. Go for it. Oh my gosh. There. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, oh. interesting. What You're is going now. on here? Yep, it's in now. there. Oh no, this is this is something that's going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, so make sure your jaws don't open all the way now because you're getting a little close to the camera when they're all wide, but you can see it through, I think. This may be a job for Trevor. I <laughs> I've done gotten it wedged in between the jaws in a funny way. Okay, well, if you'd like, I can take over, no problem. I can also just grab it for you and then get you set up to scoop. No, I got it, I got it. Ooh. It's like, it's wedged. Yeah, neat. Awesome. That's a good secure grip though, so Yeah, whatever. I mean, I feel like it's not going anywhere, so. Great. try it out then. All right. Okay, I can come up on Delta a little bit. I'm actually gonna try to spin Atalanta around now. Oof. Bit of a rough landing there. We're getting a little back in the box now. It's great. Scoop. Scoop. Oh yes. Scoop. Oh, I went in too hard about it. Eh. <laughs> you can do a couple different scoops. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. Okay. Yeah, this is, what a great warm up. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Just thrown right in the thick of it. It's like I've got a pencil grip now. So the other thing that might bite you here is when you put that in the bio box on the starboard side, it might be really difficult to release. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling about it. I don't know how wedged it is, but it seems pretty wedged. Well. Keep trying, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in for another one. Oh. Okay. This is looking great. This is the best looking 
Atlanta setup we've had all watch. It's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's still a little bit on the move. I know ships stopped, but yeah. we'll have a nice setup for that sponge coral. Sponge yeah. coral. Go for this. <laughs> there you go. You mean the sporal? Like that. Nice job. Yeah, that's oh, we good. Got a couple Do you want to go for another one? Yeah, let's get some more. They're free. <laughs> <laughs> Are they? Dollar a second. <laughs> they cost Annabelle sweat and tears. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Get a little bit of a better, better angle at this situation. Right between these rocks here. Yeah, we chose rough terrain for you to do this. Yeah. <laughs> we sat down and then decided to scoop instead of deciding to scoop and then sitting down in the good spot. Hard mode. Great warm up, Trevor. Thank you. You gotcha. <laughs> it's good. You're challenging, challenging yeah. me. <laughs> I'm being challenged. <laughs> okay, we go up this way. And it's one of these. And then, oh, and one of these. There you go. Oh, I don't want to be scooping at the cinema cam, though, do I? Hmm. Sorry, cinema cam. Eek. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to get it that close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about what about over over here? It's a little. I think you want to be scooping left to right. Oh, like uh, that There you way. go. Or straight away from you. That's looking good. There yeah. you go. I don't know if I got any there. No, you gotta, you got to have a little bit more of a steeper angle on that tip of the scoop. So you can keep rolling that wrist a bit more. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I hit a rock. I don't know. I feel like I didn't get any. Hello? Okay. Is there a little bit in the bottom? There's a little bit. Not a lot. Okay. Just do one more of these, then we'll probably be fine. I feel like I'm just moving them. I don't know what is going on over there. Let's let's do one of these here, maybe. Oh, well, there's, there's a some. couple. Yeah. All right. That's probably fine. Thank you. Okay, Roger. Um. <laughs> do you mind if I do? You I'll do one scoop okay. and then yeah. I'll let you stow it. Do do me a scoop. Show, show me how the scoop is done. <laughs> Ooh, move the whole vehicle. Oh. Oh, mine. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> oh, there's a little spot right there with them. We're playing excavator. Those ones are a little more welded. Yeah, I see some weight in there. Yeah, okay, great. We'll Thank uh, you. Still that now. Go ahead. In yeah, yeah. Starboard E? I can starboard Echo. I think I can get to the starboard box, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to drop it in there. Sure. Like okay, well, do what you can and we can trade out again, no problem. Roger. Thank you. Um, we got starboard cameras on. Atlanta's looking good. Bubble is on craft. Let me know when you're ready for sample salvo. Wow. Okay. I think so. Right about now. Sample. And I'm ready. Nothing floating in that box, right? Nothing at all. Thank you. Swim. 
in the CinemaCon. I know, it's it's <laughs> checking out the dust storm. So we're going for the big <laughs> one, the, yes, the outboard one, and the forwardmost one. The one with no big rock in it. I see it. Should I do a big up and over? Up and over. Yeah, nice. Oh, up, up and over. Cool. You can uh, roll the wrist to get a little more vertical, like spaghetti noodle style. Yeah, nice. The nuggets won't fall out because they're down in the back of the mesh bag. Oop. Did, I, did I put it on the divider? It's on the divider right now, yeah. Okay, roger. And you're going to want to keep the handle on the high part. You want to drop the scoop in before the handle. Oh boy. <laughs> what a mess. Where's my flappy? I put my flappy the wrong way. Yeah, this is this is going a certain way. Yeah. Okay. Maybe do a little rotate. Other way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll jump in. Thank you. <laughs> Try, oh though. boy! It's not an easy one. I try my best. Ah, I think well, it did right. It looked really hard. Nah. Well, it's like I said, it's probably the second most hard, other than push cores. But you'd already practiced push cores when you tried it. You went through the motions during the ascent. So. Are you like dropping it from there? No. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry about my crappy grip on the thing. That's okay. It happens. We got it figured out. No problem. Oh, boy. What is going on here? Oh. There, we go. oh, there we go. Getting it. See, Trevor makes puzzles for me, and then I make puzzles for Trevor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's teamwork. <laughs> there it goes. It's a lifelong learner there. All right, stay, Excellent. stay Thank in you. there. <laughs> Do you want me to get the box? Yeah, please. Nice job. Bit of a bumpy ride there. Uh, <laughs> we got there, though. We got all, there. All for Rob's nuggets. It's about the journey, you know? Maybe this one. <laughs> okay. That's sample number 168 now. Oh, I you. <laughs> uh, can I get bubble on porch, please? Roger. Now we're going to go get the sporal. 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 That is wild. That's Coral. squirrel. How's the situation, Trevor? It's good. Good. Yeah. Just taking it real easy. 168, you said, right? Yes, 168. Thank you. And it's nuggets. Nuggets, yeah. <laughs> oh, we lost something. It's a uh, Zipulus Tylus, I think. Latin name. <laughs> Rare sighting. Yeah. Snip or whole thing? Whole thing, I think. Roger that. Oop. Don't plow over it, though. That's not what you want. It's not what anybody wants. Imagine. All right. What what box are we putting it in? 
Yeah, Lambda or Omega? Lambda. Can I get, oh yeah, we're not gonna do this yet. We're gonna do a zoom first. Go ahead, please. I'm gonna do a tip right, a uh, pan right, I mean. Yeah, one more. All right, go Have ahead. Have we seen more. this before? Not in this dive and in the whole expedition. This could be a Desmo sponge. Uh, those are uh, sponges that have a protein skeleton and also uh, silica spe uh, speckles. Most of the sponges we are uh, seeing are glass sponges only with silica uh, skeleton. Okay, thanks. Are uh, you seeing what you want? You got your zoom? We can uh, yep. sample now? Yeah. All right. That's interesting. Thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Come on, please. Yeah, Steve said he's uh, seen this there. in the East Pacific. Oh. This in the Galapagos. So not he not near here? No. Okay, full wide, please. Yep. And is there anything extremely floaty in this box right now? There's nothing. There's just a bamboo coral Wonderful. in Omega. And, okay, you can open it now. And please remind me which side I already forgot. Lambda, Lambda please. Lambda. A little more? Uh, that's good for now. Let me get a little closer. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little more, please. Good there. Uh, in a bit. Yeah, good there. Perfect. Nice. Yay. All right. Nice. Thank Ooh, you so much. That was a lot. 45 minutes for that. <laughs> Plus whatever the other shift did. Yeah, so. All right. Now, now we're going to head off to the, uh, the waypoint. Two? Yes. Okay. On the road again. A little zoom zoom. Just confirming yeah. we already have a point down for 169. Now? Roger. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Perfect. All right. And if we do see some talus piles here, maybe grab a rock or two. <laughs> rock or two. Okay, uh, go for it. Bleach now. Let's see. So what do you get when you cross a piece of basalt with a parrot? Can we please start out, no, no, no tracking. Mm. Can we step five zero meters bearing one one zero degrees? Uh, a rocket too. I was gonna say a dead parrot. <laughs> no. Oh, oh yeah. Speed is fine too, not. Thanks. <laughs> like a rocket too. I feel like you could say, how many stones does a parent want? Uh, just a rocket too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good too. Are we doing a turnaround to starboard? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I should take a turn out. So for those of you watching at home, we are currently at a depth of 2,391 meters. Uh, we started this dive at about 2,500 meters, and we're making our way up an elongated guillot, is what the dive plan says, or a ridge in the northwestern edge of Johnson Atoll, or extending from the northwestern edge of Johnson Atoll. So it's coming from the atoll itself? Yeah. 
points. The western edge, the northwestern edge of the atoll, it's uh, you know, about a 40 kilometers long and six, seven kilometers wide feature that rises up to about 1,900 meters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were, we're like about, what did they say, like 20 kilometers from the atoll itself? We're yeah, not I, th I too think that's far, about it, yeah. 27, we, yes. we remember this morning, 27 kilometers. From the middle of the edge. Yes. The middle or the edge? <laughs> yeah, definitely one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah, we're yeah. back back into some pillows. Nice little sharp edge there too. Drop it off. Are those No. I thought they were lava tubes that I was seeing. That they're more pillowy than they are tubes. Can you please remind but me of the bearing? Close. Is that one one zero degrees? One, one yeah, that's zero. a tube. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that yeah. not a tube? Because I think that's a tube. Heading off to the left. Mm-hmm. Heading off to the left. No, I mean that little feature right there is very tubular. <laughs> totally <Dude>. tubular. Totally <laughs> tubular, dude. Can I get bubble on gauges, please? Roger. And can you, you see how tilt down a little? It's more of a sheet flowy sort of over, yeah. overhang. Sorry, down. on uh, gauges. But the, it looks like the tube's going in a different direction yeah, than the does. sheet flow. Yeah, great. Thank you. What would that mean? It's going in a different direction. Why? Oh, I'm wow. not sure. Could be just the angle. Or maybe like a second eruption after yeah. it. I, I, I think it's in place, but yeah, it could be a different eruption too. Uh, do we want to explain some objectives for the dives, science and geology? Hey, Elias, biology? can you please get the A-frame lights turned on yeah, to see the wire in wire cam? Uh, that'll be a call to the bridge. Oh, okay. Just the lights so we can see the wire over the A-frame. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Thank you. Welcome. So we are exploring a guillot, the northern eastern north northeastern part and we are exploring also the yes, biodiversity the of the guild the, the communities uh, our objective is uh, detect potential yes, new yes, species and new records uh, uh, from the biologic uh, biological on aspect. the a-frame on the a-frame and also yeah, collect yes. e-dna samples and thank you what whatever samples the scientists request that they seem they think they are new species or new associations or novel um, novel species for the area like that coral sponge like that that's yeah. coral yeah geology Spora. yeah in, in like on a couple of previous dives we chose this location because it's on a a bit of a ridge that's between two uh Go ahead, bridge. Uh, we think landslides or slumps and so we like that because on the ridge you get some nice uh, circulation for the biology but you can also Frank see some really interesting geology because we come oh. around to the top of the head I of the saw slump you. can you come back with that again we anticipate seeing a uh, uh, carbonate reef up there maybe like we've seen in a couple of the other ones oh so this oh, is what okay. we're hoping Frank to see up here from the, from who oh, oh okay all right, thanks. What? I don't know. <laughs> is that Chris Gorgia? Yeah, he said he has an order. Yeah. Uh, This is the first dive in a while that we've seen Can we zoom here? right off the bat. Yep. It's possible to zoom there? Yeah, we can zoom in on this. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and zoom, please. Dave, you on there? 
Yeah, yeah, I was busy working on cam wire. Oh, roger, roger. Yeah, this is another root of taiko species, like the one we collected last dive. Yeah, Rennie, stand by. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks. Come wide. What type of coral is that? Chrysogorgia. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just would love to see the wire. I can kind of see it, but, uh... Wire cam is just barely showing the wire. It's not bad, I can live with it. If that's the difference between being attacked by birds and not, I can live with it. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, roger. You, you say you're going to check on it? Wonderful, thank you. Yep. Are you in a position to, to sample a rock? Uh, yep, absolutely. Okay. It looks like there's some up here that would be interesting. Can I go for it? Yes, please. Roger. Um. You can take this away. Uh, actually, let me do one check first. Ooh. Okay, uh, thank you. You can, you can go ahead and actually stand by on turning the arm on. You can get yourself set up, but stand by on turning it on. Roger. Shrimp. Is that a shrimp? Or so something. the rest of the movie is coming to an end. Should I continue moving? Uh, I think we can continue, yes. Okay. Uh, let stand. me know when you're ready. Yeah, stand by. I'll land okay. first, then you can turn it on. This is an interesting one. Can we please do same, same, same? Rob, do you have your eye on any of these okay. rocks in particular? I mean, how, oh. how big is that one? Oh, mm. it's on Stab Crinoid. Could be anything. Can you come down on Delta, please? Probably yep, three meters down. Any of these down. look pretty good here. Roger, coming down on Delta. Maybe four meters down. Oh, you can come down, come down slow, is fine. I think that was... Yep. Yeah, I think, I think that one's too yeah. big, but any of these off to the side, maybe. Roger. A little more. That all right for Delta? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. The the big one? I, I think this one's too big. Okay. But maybe I don't know if it's this one or this one are reachable. All right. Okay. Uh, you can turn on the arm. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Goodness, we are close to that wall. Yeah, we are. No, if that one's available. This one? Or even that one, if you're closer to that. Either one's grabbable. Which one would you prefer? This Either one? one. Yeah, is that going to be too big, you think? For uh, one of the small boxes? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah grab that one. Why not? Is it gonna fit in the big box? We got already stuff in I don't there. Know. Let's see the size. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's kind of flat. Yeah, Are you sure you want it? Nope. Throw it aside. Yeet. La 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 la. <laughs> you, I don't know if you want to grab that one. This one? This little yeah. guy right here. A little bit closer. Eh? A little bit more. That's a nicer size to... Is that a good one? Yeah, it's, it's nice and round. Do I get a zoom on it before we put it around the side? Yeah, I'd like that, please. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was locked! No! Okay, I'm going in again. Uh, how about that one right there? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, I've heard... Get a good grip on it. It's as good of a grip as I'm gonna get. And then for real this time. And don't forget to lock. <laughs> so if you halt the arm right now. Roger. Just regular old halt. Then you can even do grip lock while it's done that. But right down there, you see the blue, this light blue and that light blue? Mm -hmm. Index means it's halted. Grip lock means it's grip locked. So press the grip lock button right now uh, on the on the uh, controller. See that change? So that's oh, okay. how you can visually inspect if you can't see oh. the lights. 
That's really helpful. Thank you. Yeah. And again, if you're halted but you can't reach the grip lock button, you can just halt, then grip lock, then unhalt. If you okay. only got one finger for the two or whatever. Roger. And that allows you to look down and confirm and everything. So. Get a little spin going about this. Rock. <laughs> That's Rock. great. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that can fit in A, B, C, or D, or are some of them full already? They're all open. Wonderful. Let me know when you're ready for sample. And like you mentioned, there's a rock face there. It's not super close, but you're going to have to tuck in. Yeah. This all right? Probably. You're going to even watch in Atlanta. Eee. All right. Come up with the hook. Is that better? Yeah, that seems okay. Oh, we'll run away there. Oh, good. When you're ready for sample, Salvo. All right. Yep, I'm ready. Sample. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, good gravy. Caught it. There you go. <coughs> right, box coming out. Roger. Uh, do you want it in the little, which little one? Which one's easiest for you? They're all open. Oh, I'm just going to plop it in whatever then. Plank go. <laughs> Plank go. go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Yes. Beta? Beta. That's I'm Charlie. like right on the line. Oh, um, it's nothing now. There we going go. In, going in Alpha. Going uh, in Bravo. There we go. Boop. Bravo. Yay, thank you. Nice. Bravo. 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 <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Goodbye, Eated Rock. Okay, I have to check out for this little rock again. A rocky situation. As soon as this box is in, we're going to get out of here. Roger. <coughs> Rob, the chat wants to know, what do you figure out with these rock samples? Ready? Yep. Just like a 169? Zoom out on Atlanta a little bit. E. Oh, yes. That was 7170. Seven, oh, 170? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm coming off on it. Thanks. Roger. <coughs> Bye, rocks. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, first of all, we try to figure out the uh, composition. The first order, is it a igneous rock or is it uh, potentially a carbonate or even something else? And then if it's a good quality rock, that means it's not altered too much. There are ways that we can uh, look at the, the mineralogy uh, to get a little more detail the type of rock it is, if it's igneous. And uh, we can do some uh, geochemistry to find out potentially what sort of uh, plume or what plume system it may be associated with if any at all. And if it's really good, we can get some of the minerals to look at the potassium argon ratios, the argon argon ratios to get radioactive dates on these things, get an idea of when it was erupted. You heard it here, folks. And I must say we have quite the team of uh, rock sawers now. Everybody's pitching team in. Team rock saw. It's very fun to saw the rocks. So when you do it on a boat, is that a seesaw? It is. It is a seesaw. Oh. Look at look What's at this that? wall. Yeah. Look it's at like, all the spongy debris that has collected against this wall. It's like a carnage. Are those primnoids? Primnoids. But we can check one to yeah. be sure. Wanna zoom on that? Uh zoom on which one? Sorry. It was this one down here. This one or yes. either one, or whatever's that one, easier. Whatever it is, yeah. Oh, let's do the let's do the top one. The top one's yeah. probably going to be more fun. What what it's, it's would have caused this rock wall? It, this could be either a chunk that fell down from above, or it could be a large you know tube of lava or you know okay, Dave, coming from a rift rift eruption. I mean, it looks like it clips off at the other end. Yeah. Whoops! Whoa! Who's driving this thing? I hope it's you. What's he doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, watch out the cinema cam. Ooh. 
Oh. Ooh. Like miles away. We're just doing really? a rock inspection. Extreme close up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not miles away. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I. With that tiny opioid there. Oof. I thought Thank I was you. doing something different. Oh, okay. Look at it. Look at this cliff. Boy, you They're know? all primnoids. It's like a big and old slab right there. Forest. Look what at that, that wall. Yeah. In the Atalanta. That could actually. Uh, I don't want to say it's a. A, a same dike, same but same. it could be a dike that came through. Wow. A dike. Yeah, it's it's like an intrusive uh, flow that uh -huh. goes up along a crack. Um, and, it's like. Uh, that's incredible. That's, it's perfectly s rectangular. Yeah. Yeah, this means a lot of the stuff would have e eroded or dropped away from this thing. Looks like somebody built oh. a wall. Or it was yeah, it looks like it was mm. built. Maybe this is uh, Fort Aquasquatch. Ooh, <laughs> Fort Aquasquatch. Interesting that all the corals are yeah, right in on. the structure, right? Cheese like, moon. I like taking advantage of the high to get the the current. That's completely the wrong direction, so I gotta ah. go the other way. More irresponsibility. We appreciate it. For science. For science. That means well, we just get to see it twice. Yeah, now we just oh. get to Look go at back Atlanta. Oh. Cinema Cam Atlanta. Beautiful. We're gonna highlight wow. this wall. Yeah. Please do. We yeah, it's, anything like that. it's at an odd orientation too, from what I would have expected. It's kind of like uh, north south. Well, that's interesting. Oh boy, here you come. Goodbye, wall. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's <coughs> crazy looking in the Atalanta cam. Fish. Yeah, I'll tell you in a sec. All right. Maybe one day what we'll kind get of over fish there. Is that? A grenadier? It looks like it has a spiky fishy, head. Fishy, fishy. Uh, I'm not close to it, Dave, but if you can reach, please zoom in. Can you come down on Delta, please? Roger, coming down on Delta. Ooh. Oh, it turned around. It's very, very far away. It's got a little associate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice, Apat. All right, thank you. Parasite. Well, I guess that wouldn't be an associate then. Is a parasite not an associate? Yes, but uh, I would consider, yeah. A Wait, so it is an associate? Parasite. It would be more accurate. Oh, they turn. Can you tell us them to turn the A-frame lights off? It would be so unfortunate to have a parasite on you and no hands to take it off. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going down right now. Yeah, so we don't like beds around. Down the slope. No? No, we're still kind of in the little saddle here. Might be going down just a little. I think 
that was a shrimp. Chat wants to know what the difference between a parasite and an associate would be. I also want to know that. Um, I don't know because associate is more uh, related to the um, species assemblage and parasite is a symbiotic relationship in which one depends on the other and the other is getting uh, um, like damage. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, like with the the brittle stars being an associate on the coral, I would say they are associated. Uh, they just maybe commensal because the symbiotic relationship can be commensal mm -hmm. or parasitic or does mutualism. It, does associate refer to species? Like we'll find a specific species. Yeah, or a specific species. Sometimes we s we s mm, we use the term associate to to um, refer the species that are living on a particular host. Not only uh, referring to the particular symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. So when they are living there and they are not doing any damage in the host but they are taking advantage of living on the host, this is commensalism. Mm -hmm. When they are like feeding on the host and this is getting the host damage, is parasitism. And when the benefit is mutual, is mutualism. And those are all types of associates, sorry? Symbiosis. 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 Yeah, but is, is a parasite a type of an associate? I wouldn't say so, but uh, I don't know. It depends. You oh. could say it's associated, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, so, but I wouldn't say so. So, so commensal and uh, symbiotic is associate, but parasitic is not associate? Commensal and mutualism. So commensal and mutualism is symbiotic and parasitic as well. Symbiosis just refers to multiple organisms living together, right? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. The, but they are benefiting from each other. Not in... Yeah. Parasite. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Really. So a parasite is a symbiotic relationship still. Ah. It's just a negative one. But mutualism is a positive one. Both benefit. Oh, so and I the see. other one that begins so with it's the divided seed, into two. Yeah. 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 So when you live with your parents, it's parasitic. <laughs> what about <laughs> college roommates? No, I don't <laughs> agree with that. <laughs> and, and, and you have a housemate? Is that mutual? No, that's commensalism. That's commensal, I think that's yeah. And then but if, if it's you're a splitting significant, up the rent. and if it's a significant other, you're also dividing up your living space. Oh, true. <laughs> so give and take, you know, commensal. <laughs> but if you're living with your significant other, is that mutualism or is that? I think it's mutualism. Significant other. Okay. Yeah. No? Look at the in Atlantis sonar. That pink line. That was that yeah. little wall yeah. thing we followed earlier. Yeah, I was looking for any sort of evidence of uh, common or jointing same. on it, but I couldn't see it on the top, and that's usually easier to see See some lines. Evidence of aqua squatch? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, chat was asking if there was any columnar features on it. Now, you we didn't get really, it like, look at the side of it, did we? Well, the, the side isn't always the best. I mean, usually you can see some lines that going across the, uh, the dike or the intrusive thing, but that's the sort of feature that you typically see columnar jointing on. I mean, when we came up on, a, on the side, I couldn't see it. Yeah. Paula, question for you. Do isopods smell bad when they are being sampled? No, they don't smell bad. But I have to say that some corals smell very 
true. Strong. Less than ideal. I, I wouldn't say it's tr um, bad, but it's strong. Strong. <laughs> Which witches? Black corals. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, an, like a fishy ocean strong? Yes. Yeah. But uh, with some peach <laughs> essence or something like that. Yeah. It's very strange. This is the porch. Yeah. But the crustaceans can smell after that. It, it is the porch. So yeah. What, what about it? Is it an isopod and a crustacean? A second porch. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Crustaceans that. are include uh, all the shrimps, isopods, amphipods, um, tiny, tiny um, crustaceans that live in on the on the soil, and also all the decapods, mantis shrimps, mm -hmm. krill. Are crustaceans mm -hmm. as well? Yeah, it's more of a talus pile here. Yeah. I'm going to hold here for a sec. Can I get a reset now after you've sure. seen some spots, please? Good to go? Yeah, I'm good to go. Thank you. Of course. They s Chad says they saw like a, a big crack earlier. Like a crack in the floor, I guess. And they're asking if that wall was related to it, but I don't know what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last watch saw something. Is there like a couple wall things going on in the sonar or they're looking up there? Hmm? I don't know. Yeah, they're looking at the sonar like from it. Herc. Is which one is that? Is that the left one or the right one? Left one. I think. The one with the walls in it. I don't know what how to read these things. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but so they're pretty. The blue is the weakest. Yellow is medium and pink is strongest. Strongest return means usually the hardest substrate mm -hmm. or the uh, steepest. Yeah, pink? or the steepest. I can't yeah. see pink from back here, but I'm assuming it's in those like really harsh yellow lines. Yeah, just barely. Kind at this of point. making an arrow shape. Yeah. So the yellow lines, they're slightly harder than the surrounding area, which means they're more either a harder feature, like a rock versus sand, or they're more prominent. You can also see on the far side of them, there's a little black shadow, which means they stick up. Mm -hmm. So if the shadow is in front of them, you have a canyon, a valley, a gap, chasm, something. If the shadow's behind them, it means they have some kind of prominence. They were pretty prominent. Yeah. So when we are looking at the sonar while transiting, we're looking for, most important thing is cliff walls. So if we see dead ahead of us that there is a yellow or pink line and nothing behind it, that means there's a big shadow. Sonar cannot see past it because wow. it's a big cliff wall. So right now we have a kind of schmeary target. It's spread out as uh, as you get farther away from the vehicle, you can still see stuff, which means there's a slope or a flat. Okay, cool. Yeah, and of course there's some art to it too because on the left side, you're seeing yellow over there. That's not real. That's a reflection off of the stuff off the right. So you kind of get a feel after a while of what is real and what is not. Do you want to zoom in on that thing? Yes, please. Okay. 
We can go now. I'm gonna keep getting closer though. Is this a sporal? This is another sp it's a sporal. Oh, another sporal. Oh, well, that's good to know. We didn't take good the only one. Good to know that it's a sporal. Well, it's good to know that uh, there are more here. Is this gonna be Sporal Town Mountain? Ooh, Sporal. I like Sporal Town Mountain. Cunjville. Ew. Ooh. <laughs> Don't say that again, ever. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that word on SPL? Like. <laughs> what a Genus wild could animal. be Stelodorix. Does this look the same as the other one? Yes. I think the animal itself is blurry. It's not the it's not the video engineer. Dave's doing a great job. I think the animal itself is just. <laughs> it's like Aqua Squatch. Oh. Yeah, this is Aqua Squatch. What if we're in Aqua Squatch's garden? Oh, and and the so wall that's, that's was like. That's the song like, by the Beatles, right? Yes, yeah. I'd like to be under the sea in Aqua Squatch's garden with you. That's Thank really you. Sweet. <laughs> Oh. Look at that Little pile of rock. Lava bubble or something there? Mm -hmm. Chat's saying that this place has a lot of weird sediment waves happening. Yeah, you can see some ripples here with Boots. nuggets kind of in the in the low areas on the ripples. Mm -hmm. I think the place that we got that first sporal had a lot of weird sediment things going on. Weirder than this area. You think, this is the same, same, same. You think it's adapted for like a Thanks. specific weird kind of sediment? Or current? Yeah. Yeah, we, we are in this little saddle on this ridge though, so it could be some sort of a current focusing. I don't know if we've mentioned this yet, but it's H 1999. We're going to party like it anyway. Yeah. We're going to party like Look, it's 1999. 1999. My parents were supposed to go see Prince, and they went to their friend's um, house for dinner instead. And we're like, oh, we can go see Prince the next time he's in town. And then Prince passed away. <gasps> oh, yeah. They but almost saw but do you know why he sang that song? Why? So you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's <laughs> a real thinker. I, I don't know if I fully understand that one. I think that's really funny. <laughs> I don't get it. I think I'm going to have to have it spoon fed to me. <laughs> me too, please. <laughs> Unfortunately. Like You're a, a bad singer. Please don't <laughs> sing it ever again. Um. <laughs> Someone else already did it better. That, that's what okay. I am. Okay, Rob. All right. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> I know. I can't but believe I said that out loud. <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to Moronke? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, technically, he was being mean to you because I didn't even sing the song. I was just dancing along. <laughs> but he said it to you for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, well, Rob just picks random people to look at. Yeah, it's dispersed. <laughs> In hopes that his harassment kind of travels multiple people. <laughs> I'm a giving person. <laughs> <laughs> you can call it that. <laughs> He's calling it that, whether you want, you want him to or not. That almost looks like a whale bone. No more. No, no more, more whale, whale bones. bones. No more fossilized whale bones. We're going to get normal ones, though. Oh. oh. According to the whiteboard. That's what they say, but I don't know about I don't know. that. I'm Who could have written that? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. That would probably cause the same issue we're trying to avoid. <laughs> whale bones? What whale bones? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Prince song is Raspberry Beret. It's That's one of mine, too. I think that is my favorite Prince song. It's a good one. It's a really good one. My boyfriend's mom is a huge Prince fan. Shout out to Sheila. She's listening. Shout out, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> Are you partying like it's 1999? 
Should she be. She's Should probably be. sleeping. Oh, are you <laughs> sleeping like it's 1999? <laughs> Preparing for Y2K. Oh. oh, yeah, we gotta, oh my gosh, empty our bank accounts or something. What do people do during Y2K? Panic. Badness. I think so, yeah. <laughs> We're in another Nugget Lake. Mm -hmm. Nugget Lake. Mm -hmm. Lake Nugget. Playa de Nugget. I'm going to um, describe that as expansive sediment with nugget overlay. Sounds better than Nugget Lake <laughs> on the data log. <laughs> Suit yourself. I thought it sounded fine. Suit yourself. I'll put Nugget Lake lake in parentheses. Thank you. It's also like quite barren. Yep. That's what it seems like happens when the, the nugget fields are around. There's not much growing on it, which makes me think it it's an active place somehow. It's a what? It's active or there's some, it's dynamic somehow. Like the nuggets are moving around in there? Or? Maybe or something like that. I'm not sure. Who was I? I was trying to describe the experiment to, to someone on board. Where like, you know, when you were in like middle school or something or early high school, you put a bunch of different shaped things in a container, and then you shook it around, and they like sorted themselves. Yeah. And that's what this makes me think of. Like a Newton's law sort of situation. Sure. But this is almost the exact backwards. It's bizarro world because these Still things you would think the larger things would sink faster. I thought. When the experiment showed that the the, the smaller things, things go to the bottom and yeah. the larger things yeah, stay on yeah. top. Yeah. No, usually the finer things stay suspended oh. and then fall on top of the larger things. I mean, that's what's so weird. But you have lighter sediment underneath these things. But the sediment is smaller, so can it easily go through the like the holes made by the larger Well, yeah, things? it can, but you still have stuff falling on top of it. And we actually use the... Uh, the amount of material back in the old days to do before we had transmissometers, we had my, we could actually do uh, draw shake up uh, sediment mm -hmm. and then take samples at certain depths and then look at it and get an idea what the composition and the uh, the size components are using a hygrometer. It also makes me think of has anyone like played with or seen people um, with slime? that has charms in it, yeah. the charms usually rise to the top of the slime. Mm -hmm. so that's what this Nugget Lake reminds you of? Yeah. If we mix it up, they just rise back to the surface. Yeah. I mean, the sediment is kind of muddy, isn't it? Yeah, but you also have, uh, I mean, these nuggets are probably more dense, which you'd think they'd sink too, but for some reason they stay on the surface of the sediments. We'll never know until we get that human to Nugget Lake translator and they could tell us. We're in need of so many translators. We are in need. We're in need of a lot of things. There's a, a divot in the cinema cam. Still feel on a current here, Trevor? It's a lot less bad than it was up near the non saddle. Okay. I see bad meaning strong. Yep. Do you think there's probably a lot of smaller? biology that's like playing yeah. onto the nuggets? They may. I mean, that that's one of the ideas that they're thinking Again. that uh, microbes are somehow assisting with the creation of uh, the manganese and crust on these. Chat knows what I'm talking about with my shape and uh, slime same, experiments. Same, same. Thanks, Thanks, chat. I'm not crazy.
how perfectly uniform these things are too. It's just amazing. Yeah, I mean, like looking at them, I would think that they were all kind of connected, like like a paved road. Yeah. Because we're right in the saddle now. Which is, if we look at like the topography yep. the map, that's that. So maybe when we get to this line, it would be more big rocks again? Well, we're hoping it's going to get a little steeper. Oh, chat says they might be crazy as well, so it might still make me crazy. That's okay. fish in Atalanta. Thank you. Oh yeah, look. Bigger rocks in the distance. Oh, and a fish coming up from the top right. Roger, we'll zoom in on it. Stand by. Yep. It's a fish in Nugget Lake. It's crossing just like we are. Crossing Nugget Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, whenever you think it's a good time, you, you're free to do the thing. Oh, it's my head. To the See the head. Is it a Show us your head. Cusk eel. Bonk. No. Bonk. Oh, bonk or <laughs> that, is that just a cusk? It's got the oh, dangly bonk. whiskers. So it is a cusk. It doesn't look. I. Its I head doesn't look big enough. Yeah, oh. I always thought the Ooh. cusks. Oh, it's really struggling here. Um, I always thought the cusks had like the round head, but okay. like the big round heads. But I don't know. People have been saying things like, like these are cusks. I don't know. I'm confused now. There's a bunch of different species of cusk eel, though, right? Science nodded their head for those listening. Yeah. Um. All right. I'll. Let this fella be. Good, thanks. Thanks. Veronica, super chatter, says um, cusk eel. I know you're busy, but if at some point you want to do a quick look over it. Okay. All right. Roger. How do you know that folks are super chatters? Huh? I again? think so. Um, because Veronica super oh, chats a lot. <laughs> she just chats a lot. Okay. And so does. Um, Jason, so I, I, it's just a term I'm deeming them. Yeah. Cool. Lamau keeps signing on too. Lamau? Yeah, at the bottom. <laughs> what? Hi, Lamau. That's L. <laughs> that's LMAO. LMAO. <laughs> Lamau. Like the band. No, that's LMFAO. Lamau. That's an Lamau. uncle and nephew. That band. See a yellow circle. I'm not going to go look for it. Is this um, squirrel? <laughs> Ooh, are we making squirrel official? Squirrel? We think it may be a my Myxillidae stellodorix. Mm -hmm. No one likes Kanje. Um, <laughs> can, can we zoom in on the No one thing? likes Kanje. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making cunge happen. Or, what's that Mean Girls quote? Why is it <laughs> trying to Corrin. make cunge happen? Yeah. <laughs> why does it have to be the other one? <laughs> what, squirrel? No, why isn't it corange? Corange? Corange. corange. I mean, if it had nodes, <laughs> we could call those corange bands. Oh. Ooh. 
It's a stretch. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't get the joke. <laughs> what do you call it? Grunge. Grunge. Band. Grunge. What about Spolo? 90s. Spolo. It is the 90s. 1999. Spolo? Spolo? It could be Corge. I like Spolo. Corge. Corge. What is that heap of... Well, okay, I like Spolo. <laughs> Anemone Corge. <laughs> is that an anemone? We'll never know. Actually, we will. Let's zoom in, please. <laughs> We've got to hold it together. It is only 2134. <laughs> We've got this. Yeah. We've got this. That so looks this like an actinophilidae. Oh, bonk. That one's reaching towards the sky. Yeah. This is there like a, partying. a big dead sponge in but the But there's uh, no tube on it. Again? I Thank think you. that is a big dead sponge. That's the big thing of ugh I said before. Oh, that was the ugh. Yeah, where's your, where's I don't the have the ability to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Same. look at that. Oh, this thing. I don't have the ability to do the little circly do's. Can so. we zoom in on the ugh, please? And whale bones. Just kidding. <laughs> no more whale bones. <laughs> no more whale bones. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even say uh, it. All right. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We probably can't, can we, Dom? Can't say it? Whale bone? Is it the word of the day? <laughs> no, I yeah, actually didn't. Yeah, what's the word of the day? <laughs> I is didn't think of it. Can Give we zoom here as well? Bale, bale wounds. <coughs> bale worms? Bale, bale wounds. Yeah. What? Hail drones? <laughs> Sail drones. Sail drones? Oh, small black coral. Oh. Oh. Bale wounds, I get it. Okay. Bathy patties or heteropathies. Good enough. All right, thank you. I don't remember how they were calling these small black corals. Oh, chat fact: there's over 66 species of cusk eel. Wow. wow. Yes, let's do same, same, same. Thanks. Um, and no chat. The chat is only for my eyes and my eyes alone. You can't. SCF other chatters privileges. can't. Yes. Other chatters can't see other chatters. Look at that spongy debris. Ooh, big flat one. Blanket. If I could, I'd pick it up. What would you do with it then? I'd see what's under it, you know, when you go flipping over rocks. Mm -hmm. That would be, you'd probably find like a little salamander, or a little snake or something. A little sea salamander. A little sea snake, a little sea salamander. Because chatters can't see each other, that's why they create their Discord channels. Yeah, I don't even know how they find each other, though. Same way squat lobsters do. <laughs> <laughs> Cast I mean, a boat in the sea and see what sticks. It, that's kind of true, right? They're all kind of, you know, blind to each other, and they kind of just have to drift around the internet until they find each other. <laughs> have you ever heard of a panopticon? <laughs> uh, I have not. Oh. I have not. It's like a... Uh, it's like we're... Where the one person in the middle can see everybody, but they can't see each other. Same. Hmm. Is um, it us? Maybe. Is it, is it me? It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. It's me. Stephanie's chat panopticon. Panopticon. <laughs> oh. Polyopicon. Leprechaun? The chat polyopicon leprechaun. <laughs> Shrimp. Shrimp? Sure. That looks like we have in place pillows here again. Going up this slope. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be relatively steep for the quite a while to waypoint two now. Yeah, we're ramping up a bit. It's going to get only steep. Well, I said that weird. It's only going to get steeper. Bamboo. Oh, Veronica, can I say the name of that Discord? Tell me yes or no. I don't want to like say it if you don't want me to. Veronica Chatter, not person on board. We don't have a Veronica on board. I was gonna say, who's Veronica? Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking to the chat. <laughs> She's teleported 
to the EV Nautilus. I bet they would love that. Yeah. Are there any snacks today, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> One time, and now I'm oh, twice. I guess twice. I, I've actually fed you twice. Well, I don't know. Once, so, you, so once you feed the wild animals, they keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Dave's gonna to. have us tamed. Yeah. <laughs> Target. We'll do tricks. We? Oh. We yes, we can. Be branched. Uh, it's a little early in the watch yet for these That's kinds true. of things. That's true. Although I heard someone crunching on snacks. No. <laughs> I heard somebody munching on snacks. So I think I know who it was. Coral. Let's zoom in on this coral, please. <laughs> Is this coral munching on snacks? <laughs> oh, look at it. Why am I going down? I don't want to go. It's so. It's a um, primnoid. Is it? A bamboo. We'll know in a minute. V. <laughs> That's interesting. It looks like a primnoid, yeah. But the polyps are weirdly like droopy facing yeah. downwards. They Just are sad. going downwards, so yeah. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so Veronica said I could say the Discord. Um she, uh that message said Nerd Unite, we find ourselves on Twitter and SOI chats. Veronica on live stream oceanographic Discord. So maybe that's the name of the Discord. Nerd Unite? No, <laughs> live stream oceanographic Discord. <laughs> what is a Discord? Discord's like a chat app. Another social media app, but yeah, you don't have, it's less the profile based and more conversation based closer to reddit than instagram yeah like you kind of just like enter chat rooms with each other sort of okay um it's used for video games a lot yeah mm, okay. people who play with each other all right i have a um and like, fan clubs yeah i have an illustrator port like a a little illustrator group children's book illustrator group that we have a discord together and we you can create like separate channels to talk about different things in different channels okay chat rooms Chat rooms. Yeah. Organized chat rooms. Brings me back to the 90s. AOL, MSN. Yeah. Defining something like that by saying it's like Reddit or like Instagram is recursive because <laughs> I have no idea what those are either. Okay. So. Do you remember 90s chat rooms? I No, I didn't. I no. feel like Reddit's like way more public than Discord is because at least you can like post like blogs. I don't think you can do that on Discord. That's true. You have to be I invited see, to I see Discord things like channel. here's the, the top 19 stupid things that were said on Reddit today kind of things. It's mostly yeah. clickbait kind of stuff. Is that a cheese moon there? Yeah. It looks pretty cheesy. You mean a bowl of Soma sponge? No, we mean a cheese moon. <laughs> <laughs> this, you mean the sponge with the coolest common name? Bolasoma family Uplek today. Uplek today. Oh, Uplek today. And I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cauliflower in the cinema cam. Yeah. A very yellow cauliflower. It's, it's like a big highlighter one. yellow. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. Oh. I don't like it. Didn't Bonk. do anything to you? Mm. <laughs> Debatable. It offended her eyes. Yeah. And more nuggets. Mm -hmm. But this one is like at least broken up by some bigger rocks and boulders. This little rock another island. Another sporal. Oh, another so sporal. They're, they're Corn. plentiful. Corn? Corn? Like Corn? Is there a, there's an associated with sporal? Ooh. Oh. A rock? Shrimp? Squat. No. It's a rock. Oh. It could be anything. Can you zoom in, please? Oh. It's uh, anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there it's is a rock, a, I told you. Thank you. There is an associate on the sporal. I think it's a shrimp, right. though. You can stay in a little bit. I'm going to come up on this thing. Associate is 
unseeable. We'll never know. We'll never know. You can come wide, Dave. I'm going to stick it on the cinema cam. Wow. Shrimp. Shrimp. Well, it is nice to know that we didn't collect the only one of that sporal yeah, in the area. Yeah, yeah there's many a sporal. I think I just saw another one in the distance, actually. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we <Bleaching> up. No. <laughs> oh. Look at that pile. Oh, yeah, nice looking pile. Yeah, really good looking pile. Panos yeah. is going to sit in, uh, in video for a little bit. Roger. Welcome. Roger. Okay, hello. And we'll see about the snack situation. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> what is this? There's a little squishy. Punchy. Little, oh, it just got off the camera. Please let's do the same, same, same. Thanks. Around 2 o'clock today, we did a snack swap in the galley. It was very adorable. Everybody brought out their snacks and were trading things. There was Pop-Tarts and gummy bears and cliff bars, all sorts of things, different types of tea. Ramen, a lot of ramen. Yeah, I think you posted a nice, cute little picture on your Instagram. Yeah, Brittany, our other SCF. Yeah. At the snack swap. Can we so zoom in here, please? So did people swap the American Pop-Tarts for the uh, Canadian Pop-Tarts? Pop there was only one box of Pop-Tarts, and it, was, it came <laughs> with Brittany, so it's from California. <laughs> No, I think she bought it in Honolulu. Oh, okay. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Hello. Oh, it's waving. Hello. <laughs> One of the middle's going nuts. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sporal. So the Sporal uh, is um, Desmos Sponge, and it could be in the genus Estelodorix. But it's funnier to call it Sporal. It is. There's <laughs> a big sponge um, to the left. Uh, you can see it in the cinema Oh, again. yeah. As a um, science communicator, it's my job to communicate it in a way that I can pronounce, <laughs> <laughs> which is sporal. Corange. Corn. Not corange. <laughs> Although corange is a lot corange. <laughs> yeah, corange is, is better than, than the other one. Is that a squat well, on the bottom of the rock? Do we need to keep saying the other one? <laughs> corange. Corange. What is this? What type of sponge is this? It's a uh, shrimp uh, with hydroids. They look like um, hydros colonizing a dead stalk. Or a partial dead sponge. With a shrimp. Uh, Veronica, super chatter Veronica says, Sporals, never seen them before today, and now they're everywhere. Um, Steve, the lead bioscientist, said he saw them, um, what was it, the eastern Pacific? So e by the Galapagos? East, yeah, east Pacific rise near the Galapagos. But this is the first we're seeing them around here. Then they're not actually called Sporals. They're called something else that I don't remember. Can you repeat it again, Paula? Yeah, um, probably Stelodorix. Okay. S T E L L O D O R Y X. Nope. Stellodorix? <laughs> Stellodorix. Stellodorix. Yeah. Stellodorix. Like <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would Stellodorix power be? Apparently wiggling fast. <laughs> Spongy. <laughs> I'm, there is, there's got to be a sponge Pokemon of some kind. In the like recent years of Pokemon, I feel like they've just been like turning random objects into Pokemon. Like there's like there's a chain of car keys. Can we see here, if possible? Mm -hmm. Sponge Pokemon. Oh Ooh, yeah, there bonk. is. Zoom in, please. Is there? Mhm. Mm like sea sponge. I don't know. Uh, the, we have applied. a cup coral. Can yeah. we zoom? You got a squatty, maybe? The squatty is okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. 
Okay. All right, thanks. Thank you. Is there an Aqua Scotch Pokemon? There might be. There could be one. Mm hmm I don't know if there is is this a real Pokemon? Holosaur. Nope, that's the wrong word. Holothorian. We have an Holothorian. Oh, finally. I only saw one earlier when we picked up the rock. Is that a big one? I'll tell you. It's going to be Using 20 centimeters or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, it's 20. That's a, it's a big one. It's a big... Big cucumber. Big... Oh, yeah, cucumber. <laughs> Can you zoom in on the big cucumber, please? Oh, they're doing a, doing a handover. You can see it in the cinema cam. It kind of contracted itself a little bit. Maybe we'll leave it be. Do you think the the sporals get any bigger than what we've seen them? Because they've all been about the same size. I think they get bigger, perhaps. Is this one? on this rock? All the biology we've seen in this area has been pretty small compared to what we were seeing yesterday. So maybe they're just not that old. Baby yeah. squirrel. Yeah, at the top of the peak yesterday, they were huge. Yeah. Can we zoom Big on this? Uh, oh no, they're still troubleshooting. I feel like this stuff. might be one too, which is significantly bigger than the other ones we've seen. Oh cinema yeah, cinema cam. cam. Yeah, you can see it in the cinema cam. It Manual is. Manual zoom, get closer. Yeah. Cinema cam yeah. everybody is on channel three. Oh, well, that's nice. Sorry about that. Bob okay, and no I problem. were trying to that's solve a, a problem shot. here. We just discovered. Not a huge problem. Oh. No problem. Take your time. We're improvising, adapting, and overcoming. Good. Wow. Mm. Good manual. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much a consistent thing for the ROV team, isn't it? Adapting, adjusting. Overcoming. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. much all we do. It's not like we have a hardware store or FedEx deliveries. Nope. Yeah, a lot of make it work with what you've got. Do you have to machine any parts yourself, or do you have the ability? Yeah, we have a small benchtop mill milling machine in the shop. Uh, and there's a lathe in the engine room if things get really dire. <laughs> <coughs> you know, a lathe is the, fun fact of the day, a lathe is the only machine that can create itself. How do you spell that? Lathe, L-A-T-H-E. Making a lathe with a lathe? It would not be pretty, but it would be functional. Okay, after um, an extensive amount of research, I think there is a sponge Pokemon. Oh, really? Absorage. And Ab it absorage. <laughs> it's a little sponge with a mouth. <laughs> and then it has Ooh, an evolved yeah. form called Sorbunge. Sorbunge. Same, same, same. So maybe we can do a Thanks. zoom there. Uh, can you circle it again? What am I looking for? Okay. Uh, zoom in, please. I think it's a baby squirrel. Baby so squirrel. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's it's good. Good. To have a reference of the of the size. You can see it in the cinema cam a little bit too. Oh, that's a good Little shot. tiny. Wow. Baby. Paula's eagle eyes at it again. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dave. <coughs> Thank you. Chat's wondering how I know who's chatting. Chat, I only know who's chatting if you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so sign your name if you want to. We should start saying our names before we say anything. <laughs> sure. Or after. That's like that's like Pokemon. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> the <laughs> least useful way to communicate in the control van. We thought we had it had that problem solved last time, but no, we're gonna find a less useful way this this shift. Stop, 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 stop,
Steph, Steph. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. We're all okay. Annabelle, Annabelle. <laughs> Steph. <laughs> okay. And then Rob goes, look at those sheep float. <laughs> 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 I lost track of how we got here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, everyone, it's 2154. <laughs> Look at this little anchor. It's almost time for a gauge check. <laughs> almost. Oh, it's more than almost. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, have a zoomage, please. When Dave zooms, he should go, Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> I'm sensing a lack of buy-in there. I'm not sure what you're referring to. That's so. fine, yeah. And this one? Yeah, oh, that one, I saw yeah, an arrow. Right. This little thing? Whoa. What is it? A little critter. It's a baby it's something. A, it's a baby. Could be a baby, Holothurian. Wow, oh. that's very cute. Does it have little eyes or is that just the rock beneath it? I'm at full zoom, so yeah, that's yeah. really, really I think really it's small. the rock beneath it. Yeah, this is like an invertebrate nursery. Okay, up thank here. you, Dave. I gotta go. Oh, it's a little nursery. <coughs> Can I get a zoom in on this, please? Sure. Let's get 50 meter grid spacing, please. Yeah, lovely. Maybe out one more. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, my 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 research led me astray. That's a fake Pokemon. It looks like real though. Are you researching it on the Ocean Discord? Um, I mean I can. Veronica said that when I mentioned the name of the Discord, there was like a bunch of new members. That was just me. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> All of Trevor's account. <laughs> All my alts. Yeah. Right. I think they would be like. Honored. I think it would be like a celebrity coming in if you went in their Discord. The What's this white Nautilus thing? Discord bombing Ooh. situation. Can we zoom in on this white thing, please? That's um. Squatty. Unidopsis. Yes. It's huge. Did I see a squatty oh. before Paula? Goodness. Yeah. Why is it so big? Congratulations. First time ever. My. Is that on wood? It. Spongy debris. Oh, spongy so um. I would like to collect this. Come wide, it's please. different. Uh, it's different for uh, than everything I have ever seen. Wow. wow. All right. That's saying a lot. Is this Paula? Do you think this is big for a yeah. small lobster? Yeah. Can you set up suction sample, please? Roger, setting up suction. They escape. They escape, Roger. Yeah. What jar would you like, Maranke? Jar number one, please. Roger that. They're forward reversed right now, so have fun with that. They're all empty. Okay, there we go. Is that that's our jar? Thank you. Okay. I feel empty. <laughs> oh. 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 Therapy can help. There'll, there'll be more. <laughs> there'll be more sheet flows. Okay. Can you come up on Delta and Dave? Can you zoom in, please? I love. <laughs> Admitting I you have a problem. There. There. Oh, thank you. Now let's do suction uh, 60, ooh, 70 percent. Let's do 60 first. Oh. Suction up to 60. Uh, ooh. Oh. Squat is suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's moving its legs. Okay, 70, please. Suction up to 70. Oh, it's a big one. It's going to fit in there? No, but we're going to... Oh, that's not the right thing to do. Come on, good gravy. Oop. Oh, there we go. wow. Oh. Also, All right, come it? wide, please. There is... Oh, oh, oh it's wow. in there. <laughs> Could you zoom here? Oh, it's really... Uh, okay. I should go. I can do a really quick one. Go ahead, Dave. Oh. Zoom in quick. I done gone the wrong way. That's okay. So there is the baby squatty. Oh, okay. oh interesting. Oh. Come wide, please. Perhaps it's the uh, juvenile. Of the same one, maybe? Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, we will not flush yet. Did we just Roger? separate a family? Don't say that. Don't, <laughs> I don't want that running SPL. through my ears. 
<laughs> but I think. No. Uh oh. They have eggs and they I'm don't take care of them. That was going to be my next Delta question. Um, for Paula, do they leave their eggs, set them, and forget them? The eggs? Yeah. They carry the eggs under the um, uh, cephalothorax. I don't know how to. The, the, the carapace. Yeah. So they, they hold the eggs up. between the up. tail fan mm -hmm. in the abdomen the, and and then and then when they hatch they, when they hatch they don't take care of them though no they they eat the they ones are they independent care. Yeah, do they eat there, do they eat each other no <laughs> oh. <laughs> no some some of you them you know there's another one Paula I think yeah it just takes the yeah the claw all right so there's there's plenty of them so this is gonna be for sure a new record for the area there, yeah. there was no previous minidopsy the, the species and the last year we we describe one new species and provide some new records for for the, the northern island in hawaii mm -hmm. and yeah i'm curious to see about in that great picture of you wearing a turtleneck sweater holding something in like a storage room so is that a squat lobster? That is a squat lobster. It's the biggest species known. Oh. It could reach like 10 centimeters or something like that. They could be big. But those Tens. are abyssal species. Mm -hmm. So you usually find them below 2,000 meters, 3,000 meters. All right, we're good for flush now, please. Please. Okay. No. Ready to flush. Oh, it's crawling in there. Yeah, it's alive. Please, let's do same, same, same. Thank you. Flushing. Chat said, recreating Finding Nemo. No, chat, if you know anything about Finding Nemo, that was a completely different scenario. <laughs> there was no ROV at all. Yeah, I mean, the diver did take Nemo, but very different. Oh, um, Paula, Jane says, definitely did a lounge squat for that new record. Woo! <laughs> cool. You guys should have done like a really deep lounge squat. Get some weights from the gym. Yeah. Big <laughs> lobster big squat. Big squat. Goblin squats. Goblin squats? It's a type of squat where you hold the dumbbell. I always uh, thought it was called goblet squats. No, it's goblin. Goblet. Oh. Am I wrong? I always thought, I thought it was, it was dumbbell squats. That was goblet. I thought it was goblet with a T, yeah. yeah. We done Don't need to look it up. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, we're done this flushing. might change Thanks. a lot of things. Sporal <laughs> squat. <laughs> Sporal. <laughs> you have goblin squats. Goblin. Cause you're oh, I'm sorry, Maronke. Oh my goodness. No. Goblet. <laughs> my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing goblin squats. <laughs> In your head, Maronke, why were they called goblin squats? I don't know, because you get low to the ground like a goblin. <laughs> it's a goblin squat if you hold something bright and shiny. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, learned something new today. <laughs> Yeah, forget that big squat lobster. We learned about the goblet squats. <laughs> <laughs> that More should just, just be science. a different kind of squat lobster, the goblin squat. That's, That's what I thought Maronke was talking about. <laughs> no, I never I finished my gauge check. Don't know my gym terms. <laughs> <laughs> Got real chaotic in there. Yeah. Annabelle, when you're ready, and Trevor, if there's a, a place to get a rock somewhere. Ooh. Let's look at this thing first. What is this? What have we here? Whale ball. Oh. No oh. whale bone. Is this? <laughs> is it? Is this? Wait a minute. This would. Wait a minute. It? Well, we'll see. Should, should we wait a minute? Here? What's you that little red thing, Let's too? Let's build suspense and zoom on the red thing, please. <laughs> Oh, this Whoa. is a crab. Homo, um, lithodid crab. Oh, crab cool. crab. Oh, I should highlight things. I, oh, I should have highlighted that big squat. I'm sorry. It's a king crab. A Yum. family litho lithodoidea. There is another squat here. There's been a couple of those, are yeah. Are they tasty? What is this? What is that? I don't know. Is it worm tubes? 
Are we sampling it? Uh, we should. Okay, please come wide. No whale bones. Oh, there are no <laughs> oh, there's so many crabs. Yeah, look it up there. Yeah, oh. they, can we go is closer to a big log or something? This is so odd. It almost looks like a log, doesn't it's it? It's a, a woodfall. Woodfall? Woodfall, okay. yeah. yeah. So are these and woodworms? It's, it's colonized by kind of gastropods. And we are sampling oh, it? Oh, yeah. Look. I think we. Uh, it's worth it to sample okay. the gastropods and the crabs. Wait, well. you said boat? <coughs> Uh, or wood. Wood. wood oh, okay. How am I sampling oh. this? So we could get a snip of the boot uh, in one of the streams and put it in the bio box. Okay. Uh, snip of one of the which? Of the... Can you circle? Like... Yeah, okay. This there. I mean, what are those horn things? Are they... Just like, Worms? like this? Just go like that? Maybe? Um, yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh no. Whoa. Oh, these crabs are. Oh, there's a little octopus thing that swam out. Oh, wow. In the cinema camp. Off. Here we go. Oh, okay. what you right. want? They're Perfect. not octopus there. Okay. Uh, wow. Isopods I need to do this. Oh. Hey, crab. Come join us. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> 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 right. Pitching I get to Oh, and is that a little squat on our Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of squats. A lot going on right now. Lambda or Omega? Omega, please. Okay, um, you can open the box. Here it comes. So there are... Um, a little more? That's good. Oh, good, you have one of those horn things, too. Cool. Growing off of that. So, so that big squat we saw, that probably was a piece of wood. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Yeah. Uh-oh. A little Oop. more? Uh, Data? No, you're good there. Okay. And then what are we sampling next? So should we should, should open? get... You can close it. Roger. Some of the some of the Minidopsis as well. Come up on Delta, please. Dita? Uh, yes. Minidopsis What's is a yeah. crab. This one, the squat lobster. Oh, squat lobster. It's okay. a woodfall. Woodfall. Wood um, can you uh, be ready on Thank suction you. jars? Too? Sample or on one suction. Seven two, right? Wait, yeah. what suction? You can spin the spin the jar to number two. Okay, Roger. We got a lot of things going on, and we're way falling behind. And I am that, still so. in the gauge check. <laughs> That's fine. That comes later. Okay. Roger. uh Zoom in, please. Uh, how much suck are we going for? So Let's go whatever is sixty percent. Whoa! Come wide, please. Did that crab steal your suction? Yeah, it's crab's fault. It wasn't my fault. Okay. <laughs> Darn crab. Okay, zoom in again, please. Sixty. All right. Oh. Got Come wide, please. Are we doing any other sampling here? Or can I move along? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Excellent. There it is. Um, Interesting. Yeah, super chatter, Veronica. I, I noticed that it was not a little uh, octopus thing. It was not. It All was right. Else. Look at them so go. So that second Stand sample went into jar two, and it was a squat lobster? Standing by on flush. <laughs> and I'm going to come up slope, so you'll need to come up on I'm delta, asking please. Right. people who were watching. I was with the woodfall sample. Oh, uh, okay. So that was that second sample went into jar two, and it was a squat lobster. Jar two, yeah, it seems squatty. Thank you, team. That was cool. Yes. The that gauge check has been finished. Yes. <laughs> so were those little white mushroom-looking things um, snails? I think or so. Or gastropods. Gastropods. I feel like. How often do you see woodfalls? I feel like. So it must have been like a log floating in the ocean and sunk. Yeah, those woodfalls are uh, like logs or part of a tree that mm -hmm. sink. And um, they they are a chemosynthetic uh, uh, environment. Maybe, maybe not, yeah, not. clearly. So I'm there are species that are adapted oh, to right. live only in, in the woodfall. Really? Yeah. And bacteria, they, they are a complete ecosystem. Uh, a chemosynthetic uh, community. Okay, we can have uh, some flush action now, please. Roger. Mother squirrel. Please, please yeah, same, I was same, same, wondering same. about please. if wood ever sinks. Can I get bubble on craft, please? Sure, but it Roger, bubble on craft. Yes, it sinks. <laughs> and yes. then, well, I'm going to just throw that a little better. And then can I get bubble on forward?